Hi there. Now in this video, what I want to do is extend the work that we've been doing in the previous example by looking at the modulus of z equaling 1, which was a circle in the z-plane of radius 1, center, the origin. And looking at what this transformation here does to the circle. This particular transformation has this format, w equals z plus another complex number. So to illustrate this then, we've got this example, the point P that represents the complex number z on an argon diagram where the modulus of z equals 1 and where z equals x plus i y. And we've got to sketch the locus of a point Q under the transformation w equals z minus 3 plus 2i where w equals u plus iv. So what we're looking for is the locus then of a point q, which represents the complex number w, under this transformation in the w plane. And to do this then, what we'll do is we'll just put down what we're given, which is the modulus of z equals 1. And we have also got this transformation that w equals z minus 3 plus 2i. Now what I'm going to do next is add 3 and subtract 2i from both sides. So therefore we get w plus 3 minus 2i equals z. Now if I take the modulus of both sides, we've got therefore the modulus of w, and I'm also going to just change this. I'm going to put a minus here and put this in brackets, so it's going to be minus 3 plus 2i. And if we complete that modulus, it's going to equal the modulus of z. Now we know that the modulus of z is 1. So what we've got here then is the modulus of w minus, and then in brackets, minus 3 plus 2i equals 1. Now, you should be familiar with this particular style of equation. In the past, I've shown you that if you've got this style, it represents a circle of radius 1, and the center has coordinates minus 3, 2. So what we've got then is that this circle has transformed onto another circle with a center at minus 3, 2. And the radius of this circle is the same as the radius of what that we had here, a circle of radius 1. So summarizing then, we've got a translation then of this circle by the vector minus 3, 2. So this leads us to come to the general definition that if you've got the transformation w equals z plus a plus ib, it represents a translation by the vector ab. So this is a useful transformation to remember, and it will apply to any locus of a point p in the z-plane. 